Hi there and welcome to step number three of this course. In this video I'm going to explain how you can log into your WordPress website. Also I'm going to give you just a brief explanation of its back office so you can get a better idea. And in the end of this video I'm going to explain how to change some of the settings for your new website which is really important. Okay so currently I am in my website. This is how it looks like. Nothing special. So I'm going to log in. So for you to do that, you go where you see your domain name and just in front of it, you put this small bar and you write wp-admin. So you put this extension in front of your domain name. Once you have that, you just press enter and you're taken to the login page, which is this one. Now you need to put your username and password. This is the information that you use when you actually install WordPress, so hopefully you still remember it. Okay, so you press login. The first page that you will see once you come to the back office is the dashboard. So I'm going to give you just a brief idea of what exactly this is and all the sections that you can see on your back office. Okay, the dashboard is an option that I really don't use much, but still you can get some useful information, especially when you are starting out. For example, you can see over here on Welcome to WordPress, you have this Get Started option. This allows you to customize your site by clicking on this button. You can also change your theme or the design for your website just by clicking on this link. You can also write your first blog post by clicking on this link or add an about page. You can also view your, your site so you can get a good idea of how it looks like. You can also manage your widgets or menus, or you can even turn on or off the comments from your posts or pages if you really don't want that. And if you want more information, you can click on this link below so you can learn more about getting started. But you really don't need to worry about this because this course is exactly for that, is for you to learn everything that you need about WordPress so you can actually master it. Anyway, if you don't see this option over here, that means that you need to go to screen options and you will once you click on it you will be able to see this options over here so you just need to check welcome box and it appears immediately and same thing goes for the other options that you see below so you just need to check these boxes okay over here you can see at glance at glance you can see the number of posts that you have in a website the number of comments and also pages. Right here you can see the version of WordPress that you are using and also the theme that you are using. In this case I'm using 2014. You can also move things around just by dragging things around just like this. You can drag things around and reposition them the way that you desire. And then on quick draft let's say that you have this ID that you want to write and you don't have much time, you can go to Quick Draft, write exactly what you want. You just need to put the title over here on top, let's say Title 1, and then below you just write the content. And once you save Has Draft, it will not be published online, but it will be saved. So later on, once you come back, you can calmly edit this post and just publish it on the internet. Over here on activity, you can see the recently published posts on your website. Below you can see the comments on your website. And on WordPress news, you can see the latest updates that they released for this platform, the new features that they integrated, and also other kinds of information related to WordPress. Okay, so this is the dashboard. It's quite useful. And over here on our bar, you can see that we have updates. This is how you can see if there is something that you need to update on your website. This can be a theme that you need to update. This can be a plugin or anything else. You can see over here I have the number three. And once I click it, this means that I need to update something. In this case, I need to update these three themes that you can see over here. Then you have below the Jetpack section. This is a plugin that comes automatically installed with WordPress. But if you don't have it, 
Well, you don't worry because later on I'm going to show to you how to install this plugin because it's really very useful. And right below you can see posts. You can check all the posts on your website. You can also add new ones. You can also check the categories on your website and also tags. Also, these are things that I'm going to talk later on more in detail so you can understand exactly what this is. Media, this is basically a library where all the images, videos, every kind of files will actually be stored over here on your library. Pages, well, this allows you to add pages, check your pages that you have in your website. And these pages can be your about page, your contact page, and pages like that. Then you have the comment section. Over here you can see the comments in your website. You can also reply to your latest comments if you want. Then you have the Mojo Marketplace where you can find different applications for your WordPress website if you need. Then you have the Appearance section. On Appearance you can change the theme of your website or the design of your website by going over here. Then you can also customize the design for your website. You can also change the widgets, the menus, and other things over here. All things that I'm going to talk about later on. Then you have the plugin section, and this is really the most powerful option when it comes to WordPress, because with plugins you can basically transform your whole website into what you want. And on plugin section you can install new ones, and you can also change the settings for your plugins. Then you have users. In this section you can see all the users re registered to your website. So once I go to all users you will only be able to see one because this is the only user, which is me in this case. You might actually want to change the profile by going over here below to your profile. And in your profile, you can actually change the layout for your back office. So you can just choose whatever you want. Just like this. And below, you may want to put your first name, Jordan, and your last name. And you may want to check change the nickname. This is the name that will be... Um, that will be publicly seen by other people. This means that when you actually uh, reply to a comment, this is the name that people will actually be able to view. You might want to change this if you want. And below you have the email. This is something that you might want to change to the email that you did previously just for this website. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, over here you might want to put the website, you can write some bio information if you need, and you can also change the password for your back office of your website by going over here. Okay, so I'm get, just going to press up the profile, and there you go. Okay, tools is a good option, especially the expert one, allows you to to pretty much download the posts that you have in your website or pages to your computer. This is basically a backup for your website. But later on, I'm going to explain how you can install a plugin that will do this automatically for you so you don't need to waste your time doing this manually. And now let's go to settings because in settings, I want to show you general, which is really important and it's something that I change immediately for my my websites when I begin a new one. Okay, so you can see over here on site title, you might want to change the, the name for your website. You can see the Migrate WordPress uh, blog. Let's say that I want to change this to WordPress course. So you might want to put this a new title. But this is also something that later on I'm going to change because I'm going to install all-in-one CEO that will allow me to customize each page of my WordPress website. So it's really not that important. Anyway, the, the important part is over here on WordPress address URL. As you can see, I currently don't have those neat looking www. And if you want to have that, 
it's really simple. You just need to go where you see your domain name and you just put three W's and a dot just like that as you can see. Then you copy it and you simply paste it below and make sure there is no misspelling over here because if there is something wrong that you actually misspell over here you might actually need to install WordPress and you really don't want that. Okay so once that is done you might want to change this email address which I'm going to do now to course procedurals and you might want to change the day format time format but I'm not going to do that it's really not that important I'm just going to keep this options and it's pretty much all that I'm going to do okay now once you you made that change it changes you need to log in once again and you can see that currently once I go to my domain name now I have those three W's okay those are the settings that you need to change there are other settings that I will talk later on in another video so this is all for this video in my other video in my next video I'm going to talk about how you can choose a good looking theme for your WordPress website so that is all for now if you have any question just leave it below I will try to reply as soon as possible so that is all for now stay tuned with Pro Site Tutorials and bye